So we had a little bit of excitement over the weekend. We had two retirement lists drop on the internet. One was a small one and one is a large one that we're going to be talking about in a little bit. And you know, I'm ready and I hope everybody else is ready for 2021. Q4 is dead and gone and it's time to just plan ahead and attack this upcoming Q4 and also start building on Q4 2022. Once again, I'm Jim with BreakBucks.net. Let's get into it. This list dropped over the weekend. Now this right here is from uh, promobricks.de. There was, before Promo Bricks, there was a Stone Wars list. And it was a very small Stone Wars list of uh, sets that are going to be retired. And th there are other channels that talked about sets uh, that should be retired in, in, in the next uh, couple of months that came out uh, a few days prior to this. So I'm not sure if they had an advanced copy or not. But, you know, things are starting to get exciting again. I was a little bit uh, hesitant to record videos during uh, this time of the year <laughs> because this is the off season, right? And the last thing I wanted to do was... was have this channel turn into a target run video uh, channel every uh, every week, and and I'm happy that that's not the case. So um, real quick, there's going to be announce an announcement at the end of the video, so please uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, and we're also just going to go uh, straight down the list, uh, and and I'm I'm going to give you my unscripted thoughts and go from there, and then uh, towards the end I'm going to talk about. Uh, three sets that I really like. These aren't what I call my all-time winners uh, or Jim's picks, but these are sets that that, that I like and, and I think will have a lot of potential. Uh, so let's talk about real quick with LEGO City. Uh, these three sets are really good. And here's the deal. You're probably going to hear me say that uh, a lot during this video. But I, I want to caution, you, you, you know, I've seen uh, people on the forums and even on the Facebook group talk about, well, as long as you buy discounted Lego it, it, and once it retires, you sell it, you'll make money. That is not true. Uh, it's fairly easy to, to make uh, money off of Lego, uh, but you do have to do some due diligence. I, I mean, it's, it's a lot easier to waste your money. You have to do a little bit of work to make money. Uh, and you have to do a little bit more work uh, to to try and get those ROIs uh, that are somewhere around you know 250 to 400 uh, percent. So there is work involved. But these three city sets I like a lot. Uh, the the space sub theme, if you want to call it for city, uh, it's it's quite popular. It's it's always in in you know the top 50. Uh, sets that are being sold on Amazon. Uh, the Speedboat Transporter, I, I think, is a really fun set. Uh, and the Diving Yacht, uh, which, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later, uh, I really like. Uh, so that's it with the city. Now, the Classic, I am going to uh, skip over the Classic because it is just bricks. I'm also going to skip over, please forgive me, the Ninjago sets that are rumored uh, to be retiring. I just don't know a lot about that theme. I bought my first Ninjago uh, set to resell a couple weeks ago. I bought like 75 units. So that's a theme that I'm starting to uh, become more aware of. But I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to the Ninjago theme. So I just don't want to speculate on it. Uh, but the Lego Creator, uh, the townhouse uh, with Pet Shopping Cafe... This is a great set. This is a set I don't own, but I've, I've talked about it many times that I really love mini modular sets. I, I've even done a video specifically on uh, mini modular sets, and I just think they're great. Uh, you know, there will be a time when I go into it, and when I go into it, it's going to be deep. Uh, but, you know, right now they have um, a pretty sizable price point on it i mean you're not going to go broke but but it's more than a couple dollars right so there's going to be a few sets uh that are going to be throughout this list where the question that you should be asking yourself isn't when should i sell this set uh the question should be at what price should i buy this set because i've seen quite a few sets and i don't want to jump ahead of myself 
But the Minecraft Zombie Cave, that's a set you really don't see discounted that much. It has happened, uh, but not that much. So, you know, I, I would lump the, the Lego Creator uh, Townhouse uh, with Pet Shop into that Zombie Cave camp of trying to make sure that you're able to find as many discounts and stack as many discounts uh, as possible. Now, we're going to move in, into the Disney uh, sets. I think most of these sets are great. I, I don't have a lot of experience uh, with the bottom two, the, the, the Anna's Canoe, uh, the Bell's uh, Wintry Castle, but I know other resellers uh, that own them. Uh, the Elsa's Magical Ca Castle, I talked about this um, in a video maybe a few weeks ago. Uh, it, it was a popular set. It's, it's a redo, right? Uh, but uh, just because it's a re-release doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to be a winner. This was actually a set that a set that I had expected to uh, retire in December. And uh, people were coming up to me and they were saying, uh, why do you see uh, this uh, set retiring when it's not on a list? And I said, yeah, just... Just wait. Well, guess what? I I, I I waited so long. They decided to to <laughs> to call this set uh, in uh, the the late spring, early summer. Uh, so uh, it's disappointing that this set was not um, on the December retirement list. Here's a deal, folks. Lego dots. I'm just not going to get into Lego dots. I know that there was a ton of Lego dot sales. I'm, I'm not going to get into the bracelets at all. Now, something that's interesting is I have been looking at uh, the other dot sets, which are actual sets, right? This this is like a craft project, uh, the the, uh, uh, the bracelets. And, you know, I've seen uh, in various retailers, those dot sets, like, like the pineapple pen holder, and, and I think there's like a jewelry box, as like DIY sets. So, you know, I think that's more of an activity for children, which means it, it's going to be very popular for parents because, you, you, you know, we're not post COVID yet, uh, but kids, I, I mean, I'm just gonna tell you right now, uh, today was a snow day and my kids were home and I had about six hours of stuff that I had to do today and I couldn't do it. I was trying to give my kids as many activities as possible. Uh, but those other Lego dot sets, uh, I really like, and, and I think I might explore them a, a little bit deeper. There's a lot of Duplo, folks. Uh, and, you know, I like Duplo a lot. I, I like Duplo a lot more than than a lot of resellers like various themes. I'm not too familiar with the airport. I'm not too familiar uh, with the big fair. Uh, the police station is something, I'm going to be honest, even, if it was 50% off, I probably uh, wouldn't buy uh, the the uh, treehouse in the jungle uh, that looks uh, very popular. Actually, is that a treehouse in the jungle? That looks like a submarine. I think that's the submarine one. I could be wrong. The picture is very small. So <laughs> I'm going with, with that looking like the submarine. I don't know what's going on there. But uh, I only own a couple of those because I was trying to find them on discount. And this was a set that you cannot find on discount almost throughout the the last six months of, of 2020 uh the toy story train i mean folks i'm just being honest if you guys did not grab some of those uh sets w whenever it was discounted uh, i i definitely think that that you're throwing money away uh this is a set that i own it's not necessarily in my top 10 of uh, when it comes to quantity uh but i i do own a fair good amount of those and the uh, cake bakery, I don't own any of those. Now we're going to move to Harry Potter. Now here's here's the Great Hall uh, at Hogwarts. I own this set. I don't own a lot. Uh, I, I own very little Harry Potter. Uh, but time uh, moves on, I, I will be collecting more. Uh, I hear rumors, and I don't know if this is true, folks. Please please let me know in the comments. Uh, I hear rumors that there's going to be a, a new Great Hall, not a re-release, but I, I guess it's a re-release, but it, it's not going to be like the Saturn V, right? It's put out the, the exact same one. I hear rumors that, that there's going to be another Great Hall, uh, and I hear rumors that it's going to come out not long after this set is retired. So I'm not sure uh, what that's going to do with the potential uh, return on investment for uh, the previous Great Hall, 
It probably won't spike as, as much as I would like, but we'll see. I, I mean, we still got a lot of uh, months left in the year uh, before Q4 starts. Uh, then there's this Jurassic World. I own very few Jurassic Worlds. Uh, I, I, I think I own, I own the Dino Mech that is long retired. Uh, you, you, you couldn't even find that, I, I believe, at, at a 25% above recommended retail price. Uh, so I really don't have that much of an opinion on, on this set right here. I would love to hear uh, all of you folks uh, talk about it below uh, if you wanted to. Now let's talk about Minecraft, folks. I mean, here's the deal. Minecraft, in, in my opinion, and I know others' opinion, is a very, very popular theme uh, when it comes to reselling. There was, there was this one person I saw on a forum maybe two months ago, and he commented about how he just didn't see the potential with Minecraft. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, uh, you know, with, with due respect, I, uh, I'm certain you've never broken out an Excel spreadsheet and, and looked at past sales. The, uh, the sales of Minecraft sets, I think I could be wrong, but I think two Minecraft sets retired in the middle of last year. And you were definitely getting more than 100% return on investment uh, Q4, which was only a couple months ago. So you're talking about a turnaround time of, you know, six, seven months tops. Uh, but both of these are good. And, and, you know, I mentioned this earlier, the Minecraft Creeper Mine. This this is going to do bit. This is going to be a huge set. I own some. I don't own a lot. Uh, my problem is not finding this on discount. Now there was uh, a time recently I went to Target and I saw like ten of these and I said screw it. I'm just I'm just going to grab ten and, and and pay full retail. Uh, the Wolf Farm I do have s some of those. Uh, and I like the wolf farm a lot. Uh, it says sheep farm, but I'm pretty certain. So, so this uh, this is translated from another language on, on my Google Chrome. So, so that's why the words are uh, they might be a little bit off. Uh, now, here's the thing with Ninjago. I'm not going to talk about Ninjago, but I'm curious, man. I, I know I know there's a lot of Ninjago fans out there. I, I hear that people like to collect uh, Ninjago sets that have dragons in them. Uh, if that's true, let me know. If that's false, let me know. But I, I would really like to see some Ninjago comments once this video is posted because I'll definitely be reading them. But it definitely looks like that there's a lot of Ninjago sets uh, that we'll be um, saying goodbye to in, in the very near future. Now, here we are with Speed Champions, folks. I would say out of all the themes uh, that have sets that are slated to be retired in the next couple months, this is probably the one theme where I don't want to say you could phone it in, but I've talked about Speed Champions in the past. They're moving from the 6th stud to the 8th stud. There's already 8 studs out there. Um, you know, this is kind of like a farewell to the 6th stud uh, sets and I own I think I own almost all of them not a lot uh, but 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 I own you, you know 25 here uh, 30 there and when I say phone it in I mean if you were collecting these over the course of the last 12 to 18 months at 20% off in, in, in stacking discounts I mean you you could you could make some money I don't know if if, if I were to pull the trigger on uh, these sets and release them uh, this Q4. This this may be one of uh, those times where I say to myself, I would really like to uh, just release them this Q4, but I know if I don't, uh, my I will have a very higher return on investment. And that's the thing you want to remember, right? You know, I've talked about in the past how I've, I've talked to people and, and they've said, you, you know, I want to... Uh, turn over my money and make 100% on it uh, every 12 months. Well, I'm not saying that's a bad idea, and that's your business model, so the last thing I want to do is, is, is question that. But I also like to tell people to have the perspective that, you know, don't necessarily think about it as you doubling your money every 12 months. Think about it as you doubling the value every 12 months. So you could have... You know, I'm just going to say that that white Porsche uh, right there, the 911, you you may not pull the trigger and, and have that released um, 
in in December. But when you when you uh, sell it to Q4s from now, I mean, it could be at three hundred percent, and that's because your uh, value ha has been doubling over uh, the time that that you've had it on the shelf. Star Wars, folks. <laughs> Here we are. I think it is interesting uh, at the sets that are on this retirement list, but I also think it's interesting to see the sets that aren't on this retirement list, right? So we have the Brickheads, uh, Mandalorian with the Child, that is nowhere to be found. And I could be wrong. I think um, the longest a Brickhead set has ever been out there may have been a year and three months. Now, my prediction was that that set was going to retire around the nine-month mark, which I believe is around March. And it may still. I, I mean, who really knows? Uh, but with all the controversy with the ATST that we're not going to get into, maybe LEGO des decided, okay, we're going to go ahead and just retire the ATST and, and we're going to keep uh, the, the Brickheads uh, till the end of the year. I don't know. Uh, so, you know, and you also see that there's only one battle pack uh, that, that is on this list too. The Mandalorian battle pack, which is probably right now the most uh, collected uh, battle pack, mostly for resellers. Uh, but I have recorded, I haven't uh, posted it yet, but I have recorded uh, a video on battle packs. I, I encourage you uh, to go ahead and, and check that out in, in the near future. But battle packs do big regardless. Uh, there's only been, I want to say, in the history of battle packs, only one or two real stinkers out there. Uh, the the Duel of Mustafar, I don't own a lot. I just picked up three uh, at Kohl's the other day. Uh, I think it's a, a cool set, and I think it's a set that, that'll do well. And here's the thing. You know, Mandalorian is getting a lot of attention, right? Um, so I, I think this, this is one of the sets that... Uh, is going to be uh, very popular post retirement, and you know the the ATST. Uh, we're we're going to talk about that set uh, a little bit later uh, in the video. So here's the deal with the superheroes, folks. The only set that I'm going to talk about in uh, this theme is the Thanos Mech. Any superhero set that has the word Mech in it. Uh, I go ahead and, and, and I purchase it, and I think I've done pretty well. Uh, the other sets I know very little about, uh, and 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 I don't own. Uh, I actually, I actually don't know if I own the Than Thanos mech or not, but I own the Captain America. I own the Iron Man. I've owned a ton of them, uh, and I'm probably going to uh, pull the trigger on on the Thanos mech too. In the near future, I hope to do a video on, on the uh, Avengers uh, mech uh, sub themes. Super Mario, folks, man, if you saw uh, my video on Super Mario's uh, whenever it came out, you, you, you would say to yourself, man, Jim seems pretty excited about this. I'm sorry, guys. This is a set that I have tried to be so excited about, and I just can't get into it. I, I just can't. The, the, the electric component, it, you know, just bothers me. There's so many things that bother me about this. Now, here's the deal. I do know a lot of people that own these sets, and I hope they do well. I really do, but this is something I'm not looking forward to. If anything, I'm really looking forward, and my four-year-old son is looking forward uh, to, to that Sonic uh, Lego set that's going to be coming out in, in a few months. Here we are with the Technic. Uh, you know, the helicopters do well. I, you know, Technic as a theme does really well. But helicopters, uh, it, you would be surprised how, how well uh, helicopters do. And the Corvette, you, you know, I've heard, I've had people in the comments say, hey, I see that there's a Corvette in your video. And people ask me about the Corvette. Uh, the Corvette's going to do great. Uh, so that's it. Uh, just a quick lightning round on these sets. Uh, now I'm just going to go and, and do my top three. Again, I don't want to say picks, but sets I really like. Uh, the Lego City uh, Diving Yacht, folks. Mention it in the comments and you tell me if I'm wrong. I'm thinking that this is going to be one of the best city sets in the last five years when it comes to return on investment. Whenever I see this set right here, I think of Museum Break-In. That is a set that I've talked about in the past and I didn't have any of those. And, and I tried to get them, but I, 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 was, I was late trying to get them. 
and they just did phenomenal. Now, I'm not late trying to get these. I, I do own uh, quite a few of these, uh, but this is a very unique set, uh, and I like it a lot. Uh, the Camel Camel Camel, in my opinion, honestly does not do it any justice. Uh, it peaked uh, last year around 36 bucks, but I'm not joking. I wouldn't. It may not be this Q4, but uh, the following Q4, I would be very surprised if it did not hit uh, fifty dollars. And this is a set that a lot of people have not talked about uh, in the last year to eighteen months too. Wonder why that is. Uh, so you, you know, be on the lookout for that. And then we have the Corvette. As you can see, it, it says I purchased it. Uh, four times. So I, I do own a, a sizable position. Now I did order them on discount. Uh, and this is a great set. It's not my favorite set, but it, it's definitely in my top five. I've heard this from another uh, reseller buddy of mine. Uh, and I believe him. Uh, he thinks that this set could hit uh, $150 easy, potentially next Q4. Uh, and, and I believe him. Uh, so so that's, that's a set that I like, a set that I own and a set that I'm going to enjoy uh, selling whenever uh, the time comes. Again, Camel, Camel, Camel. I think it does it a little bit of justice. It peaked at, at 120, but I definitely think that, that it could get a, a little bit higher uh, uh, Q4 of 2022. And finally, folks, <laughs> this guy right here, the ATST. Last week, I think I bought like a 230 of these and it, and you could see uh, I, I purchased uh, twice uh, I, I purchased these both twice and pulled the trigger uh, on this set and then I ran upstairs and, and grabbed the emergency credit card and I pulled the trigger on uh, a lot more of these it is what it is uh, you, you know one of my regrets is only buying uh, 50 Nebulon B frigates and so when I saw this become available and with the recent decision to retire it, I said, this is not going to be uh, the Nebulon frigates. And, and I made sure that I, I got well over 200. Uh, when, and when we go to Camel, 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 I really think that this doesn't do it justice. Here's the deal. Uh, the Mandalorian uh, series, the new season will be out during the height of Q4. And I think there's going to be a ton of people that are going to want to gobble this up. Uh, I really don't think that this is a set that I'm going to hold on to uh, Q4 of 2022. I think I'm going to go ahead and, and let this go, uh, this Q4, and, and be happy with what I have. So that's it, my friends. We're going to go ahead and have a special announcement. Computer, go full screen. All right, everybody. Here's the special announcement. Late last night, we hit 5,000 subscribers, and I couldn't be more thrilled. Thank you so much for everything that has happened o over the last seven, eight months uh, with the relaunch of this channel. Now, to celebrate, we are going to give away a set, and we're not going to give away a small set. We're not going to give away a medium-sized set. We are going to give away... <laughs> we are going to give away... Uh, my only copy of Cinema Palace. Now, here's the deal, folks. There is a very, uh, very small crease uh, down the middle. So for all you box snobs or, or people that uh, were wanting to resell, resell this, uh, you, you know, I don't know uh, what you could do about that. that that's going to be up to you. It's not going to be up to me because I'm not selling it. You're going to get it, and hopefully you could, you could play with it and build it. But if you want to sell it, that's fine, too, because here's the thing. I understand telling a bunch of resellers not to sell a Lego set. It's kind of like telling a bunch of Navy sailors not to drink and not to curse. Uh, there's, it, it's eventually going to happen, So, and that's fine. So we're going to get into the details uh, within the next few days, but probably uh, next week on, on how uh, to get this uh, right here. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you could still enter uh, to win. We just need you to subscribe right now. So what I would like to do is also preview a future giveaway. Right now we have about 1,500 people in our Facebook group. Very happy, very thrilled about that. Again, I couldn't thank you enough. But when it gets to 2,000, I'm going to go ahead and give away this Nebulon B frigate. Now this has been opened. This was in a, a video uh, th that I featured uh, a few months ago. So 
This is open. It, it's it's not sealed in box, but it's only been built once, and this is yours. Uh, we're going to be having a giveaway on, on that whenever the Facebook group hits 200. I'm sorry, hits 2,000. Now, the thing about it is this contest is for everybody. Uh, this is not going to be limited to... Uh, people in in the United States. If you're in Australia and you want to win this, we could send it to you. If you're in South Africa and you want to win this, we could send it to you. You, you just have to win, of course. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. We're going to send this to you. We're also going to send the, the Cinema Palace uh, set to you. Uh, you just need to enter. And right now to enter for the first contest... And then we're going to have the details uh, in about five, seven, maybe ten days from now. That's it, my friends. Thanks so much for sticking around. It's time to get out of here.